my dear brothers and sisters, in Christ Jesus the Lord. The scribes and the Pharisees neither believed in the words of Jesus nor in his words. They rejected both the word of Jesus and the work of Jesus. But one thing we admire in Christ our Savior is his conviction. He's never compromising. At times when we look at our own lives, when people do not accept what we say, we try to compromise. We try, we try to give up. We try to say, let me modify everything so that it fits in, so that everyone accepts. But with Christ, the gospel of Jesus, in the words of Christ, there is no modification. There is no compromise. He says, this is what I have taught. And these are the words that are not coming from me, but the one who has sent me. And through these words, we have got to know the Father. And when, when they rejected the words and the words of Christ, Jesus did not stop. Jesus did not stop his miracles. Jesus did not stop his preaching because they rejected and did not accept him. He would continue. He would continue. And this attitude of Christ calls us for a life of conviction, not a life of compromise. When we are ready to compromise, we will not be able to experience this Jesus who was convinced in his father's life. He was convinced and nothing could, could change the gospel and the works of the Lord. And we see it very clearly in the gospel of John chapter 6. Jesus again and again speaks about his body and blood as our food and drink. He says, I am the bread that comes down from heaven. He who eats of it will never die. And people say, what kind of a teaching it is? It is very hard. We cannot accept it. And the Lord does not modify. The Lord does not compromise with that gospel. And most of them left the Lord. One by one, one by one. A great multitude. The gospel begins saying, a great multitude follow Christ. When we, when we are after this cheap popularity, there will be a lot of people around us. But when we stand for our convictions, be it at home, in the church, in the place wherever you are, where you work, when you stand with your convictions, sometimes you may have to stand alone. You may have to stand alone and Christ was ready even for that. He was convinced that he was the living bread, that everyone who eats of it will never die. He was convinced. And that is why he did not compromise. That is why he did not compromise. And many left, as we read the passage, we read, many left the Lord. And the Lord was not worried. He was not at all worried. Because he knows that these are people who will compromise. But then I want those who are convinced. Convinced of my work, convinced of my word. And he asked even his disciples, do you also want to go away? He was not stopping even his disciples. Even if they wanted to go away, which were disciples wanted to go away, the Lord would have said, go. And then I teach what I hear from my Father. I do what the Father inspires me. And today as we attend this Mass, let us ask the Lord for that conviction in Jesus. Conviction in the Word and the work of our Lord. I follow the Lord out of conviction, not for convenience. I follow the Lord out of conviction. And when that conviction sets in, we will not be Christians who compromise. Christians who are convinced in the Lord. Let us ask that grace during this Eucharistic. It is in this way in a public prayer, so we will The Parisay will, Sadisay will now mark for the under the Varte, under the Sayadio of the Grid, number way in it. Under the Nachi, the Hindu Kitimaka, the Kitimaka, the Chilkira. Our Midwood Mother Chay, the Chilkira, in 
இந்த நற்செய்திக்கு முன்பாக நாம் வாசித்தோம் அந்த குடுவனை முப்பத்தி எட்டு ஆண்டுகளாக அங்கிருந்து அந்த குடுவனை ஆண்டுகள் குணமாக்கிய குணமாக்கினார் அங்கிருந்து தொடங்கிய பிரச்சனை தான் இது ஏன் இவர் சம்பத்தை ஓய்வுதான் என்று குணமாக்க வேண்டும் ஆண்டவர் மீண்டும் மீண்டும் அவர்களுக்கு எடுத்துச் செல்கிறார் என்னுடைய செயலில் நீங்கள் இறைவனை காண்கிறீர்கள் அவருடைய வல்லதையை காண்கிறீர்கள் என்னுடைய வார்த்தையில் இறைவனுடைய நற்செய்தியை காண்கிறீர்கள் என்று சொல்லி ஆனால் அவர்கள் இறைவனுடைய நற்செய்தியோ அவருடைய செயலையோ நம்பவே இல்லை ஆனால் ஆண்டவர் இசை நாம் அந்த ஒரு உறுதியான ஒரு வாழ்க்கையை பார்க்கிறோம் எதற்காகவும் யாருக்காகவும் எந்த சூழ்நிலையிலும் அவர் அவருடைய நற்செய்தியோ அவருடைய வல்ல செயல்களையோ தான் செய்வது சொல்வது என்னவென்று ஆழமாக உணர்ந்தவராக இருந்திருந்தார் அதனால் தான் அப்பேற்பட்ட ஒரு உறுதியான ஒரு வாழ்க்கை யாரோடும் எதற்காகவும் அவர் சமரசம் செய்து கொள்ள மாட்டார் அவருடைய வாழ்க்கை சமரச நிலை வாழ்க்கை அல்ல அநேக வரை நம்முடைய கிறிஸ்துவ வாழ்க்கையை இந்த இறைவனுடைய வாழ்வை மேன்மையை நாம் உணராத இருப்பது காரணம் அப்பேற்பட்ட ஒரு உறுதி நம்மள் இல்லை அநேக முறை நம்முடைய வாழ்க்கையிலே நாம் சமரசம் செய்து நிலைப்பாட்டு நான் பின்பற்றும் ஒரு கிறிஸ்தவனாக 